What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this series. We're back with part nine of the future great ones in Call of the Wild series. It's been a little while since we've done one. I'm excited to get back into talking about possibilities and speculations for future great ones in the game. Please subscribe. So far, we have covered the Great One Lion, the Grey Wolf, Gemsbach, Cape Buffalo, Mule Deer, Roosevelt Elk, Bigfoot, and the Plains Bison. And today we're going to talk all about the possibility of a Great One Wild boar. As most of you guys know, back in January of this year, I made the prediction for the next map in the Hunter Call of the Wild to be Nepal with a Great One Wild Boar. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Not only would a Southeast Asia map like Nepal be the perfect fit for a Great One Wild Boar, the perfect opportunity for a Great One Wild Boar in the game, the Wild Boar even originated in Southeast Asia, so it's kind of the perfect fit. Not only that, but the Wild Boar is a base map animal, so if EW is going to continue with all of the great ones being base map animals, the wild boar fits in kind of perfectly. A great one wild boar would mean a new great one on Hirschfelden, Medved, and Quattro Colinas. So this is a three map animal. And then of course, if the next map is Nepal, it could also be on that map. So we could be talking about a new great one on four maps. The wild boar could make for a really, really interesting great one. I know it's not everybody's first pick, but when you get down into kind of the details and start to actually think about the possibilities, for a Great One Wild Boar, it's actually pretty interesting. Of course, the Great One Wild Boar could look really cool, right? We're talking about like scars, maybe one with, you know, scarred up, kind of bloody, maybe something with like stripes, kind of like on the thumbnail of this video, some spots, some cool, you know, creative uh, designs and colorations and things, kind of like what we've seen in uh, in the past with the Great Ones. But also there's some background, there's some uh, subspecies and extinct species of the Wild Boar that could make for a very, very interesting Great One. You guys know that in these videos, I like to talk about, you know, extinct subspecies from thousands of years ago of these animals. Like with the gray wolf, we talked about the dire wolf. Uh, with the bison, we talked about the bison latifrons that went extinct about 30,000 years ago in the Pleistocene era. I like to go back and kind of think of things that could realistically kind of make these great ones really, really interesting. The cape lion for the African lions and so on, as you guys have seen in this series. So like I said, wild boar, they're speculated to have originated in Southeast Asia during the early Pleistocene era and outcompeted other sewage species as they spread throughout the old world. Now, guys, millions of years ago, as you guys probably know, everything was bigger and pigs were no exception. In fact, an entire species of massive pig-like species once existed called entelodonts. These things were giant. These were massive, massive pigs that existed millions of years ago. The largest member of this family, known as the Deodon, was dubbed the Terminator Pig, or referred to as the Hell Pig. The Deodon population was wiped out, along with several other species during the Miocene Epoch. Today, you can view an almost complete Deodon skeleton at the Agate Fossil Beds National Monument in Nebraska. The Deodon stood 5.8 feet tall at the shoulder, absolutely giant, taller than some humans. Lengthwise from snout to tip of tail, they stretch to about 12 feet. So uh, this was like the length of a crocodile, you guys. This was just like a giant pig that roamed the earth millions of years ago. Can you imagine a great one uh, based on these, these early pig species? Like it would just be insane if they would do this sort of thing in the game. I hope that they will one day. These, these are the things that I dream about with the great ones. Also, as you guys know, I would love to be able to just hunt the great ones. I'll talk more about that later in the video, but um, their bodies were bulky and muscular and it's estimated that Deodon weighed an average of 1,650 pounds. That's not all though. Another extinct Entelodont species was the Dino Hyas, which translates to terrible pig. These were another huge Entelodont subspecies. They stood at about six feet tall at the shoulder, so even bigger than the Deodon, even taller, and they were among the largest of their kind. The Dino Hyas inhabited North America between roughly 29 and 19 million years ago during the late Oligocene and early Miocene epochs. So massive, huge, giant pigs in the Hunter Call of the Wild as great ones. What do you guys think? Now, obviously, you know, this isn't the only way they could do it. They don't have to make these massive, giant pigs. But like, I think it would be really, really interesting if they would take some of the, the great one variations rather than just, you know, making these kind of um, creative, different colorations of the furs and stuff. I think they could go one step further. Like with the great one, Grey Wolf, we talked about the possibility of kind of basing that great one on the dire wolf and having it just be this huge, you know, black dire wolf, just way bigger than the other wolves. I think it would be super
super cool to see that. We talked about that with, uh, you know, with the Cape Buffalo and with the Bison. This is what I think would be the most interesting way to, to go forward and do these great ones uh, in the game. Let me know down in the comments if you guys agree. Am I the only one that feels this way? I, I think it's really cool. I love doing this research and going back and just finding these cool things out about uh, like subspecies of animals that used to exist that most people don't even know about. My big thing, as most of you guys know with the great ones, I would love to just be able to hunt them. I would love to know that when I'm out hunting in multiplayer, playing the game the way I like to play it, I would love to know that there's a possibility with certain species that every time I see a herd or every time I find a track, there's a possibility that it could be a great one. I think that would add another element of um, of mystery, excitement, definitely, um, when it comes to just hunting in the game. I think a lot of people are starting to kind of feel the way that I feel with farming the respawns, or as we know it as grinding. I feel like, you know, farming the respawns, a lot of people are kind of getting bored with that. A lot of people want to start going out and just hunting and finding their trophies that way. I think a lot of people are starting to feel the way that I feel where the trophies are just so much more fulfilling and interesting when you really don't know what to expect and you're not expecting there to be a trophy every time that you fast travel to a tent at a lake. You know, you're just kind of waiting for the inevitable to happen. So hopefully that does change. The only thing that they would have to do in order to change that is to just change it back to the way that it was when the great ones first came out. And that is to make it so that they can be initial spawns on a map. They don't have to be farmed as respawns. You don't have to shoot something and have it respawn in order to get a great one. EW, as far as I know, has never acknowledged why that changed. I don't think it changed on purpose. I think it was just something, a byproduct of an update, something broke, and all of a sudden now we can't get initial spawn great ones. Hopefully they'll go in and make the change and try to make it so that we can we can get them while hunting too, because a lot of us like to just hunt in the game, and uh, it would be nice if, if those of us that do just like to hunt and, and not uh, farm the respawns could also get great ones and enjoy what the great ones offer to the game. So yeah, guys, what do you think? A new great one, Wild Boar in the Hunter Call of the Wild. A new great one in Hirschfelden, Medved Tega, Quattro Kalinas, and then if you know if the next uh, map is a Southeast Asia map, maybe Nepal, like I predicted, uh, then a new a new great one on that map as well. I know this isn't the most popular pick for most people. A lot of people would love to see a great one, mule deer or blacktail or obviously a lion or a wolf or an elk. I think the wild boar could be pretty cool. I think obviously I you know if it means a new Asia map, I would definitely take a wild boar. Those two things together would be amazing. I would love for there to be an Asia map in the game. And if it is going to be Nepal, if we are getting an Asia map, what are some of the species that you guys hope to see added to the game? Brand new species in the game on an Asia map. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about a Great One Wild Boar. Is it something that you would want? What are some ideas that you have for maybe some variations of the Great One Wild Boars? If you guys haven't already seen the other episodes of this series, I will leave a link below to the playlist. Definitely check it out. Some interesting stuff. I love making these videos. I love doing the research that goes along with doing it. I always learn so much and I hope you guys learn a little bit too. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. It helps so, so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. I appreciate it. We're on the road to 60,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.